What does the term banana republic refer to in the world of politics? Politics includes many terms that may seem cute and funny, but they reflect important meanings. One such term is the banana republic, which refers to a small, poor, and politically unstable country due to over-reliance on foreign funding and a single crop. How did the term banana republic originate? The term arose as a way to describe the experiences of several countries in Central America, whose economies and policies were dominated by U.S.-based banana exporters at the turn of the 20th century. After the FBI's August 2022 search of former President Donald Trump's residence, some Republicans compared the United States to a banana republic. And in the aftermath of the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol, a flurry of tweets did the same. Since political instability within the United States is unrelated to the fruits, why is the term used to describe conditions? Subvert democracy to keep the money flowing. In the 1880s, Boston Fruit, which later became the United Fruit Company and then Chiquita, began importing bananas from Jamaica and launched a successful campaign to spread them to the United States. As demand for bananas grew, Large companies struck deals with governments across Central America to fund infrastructure projects in return for land and policies that would allow them to expand production. Planters often relied on authoritarian rule to protect land concessions and quell labor unrest that might cut into their profits. At times, they have been actively subverting democracy to reassert their influence. The Cuyamal Fruit Company, for example, supported a coup in Honduras in 1911 that replaced its chairman with someone more in line with American interests. Another well-known example is the 1954 plot orchestrated by the CIA on behalf of the United Fruit Company against Guatemalan President Jacobo Arbenz. This coup ended the first real period of democracy that Guatemala had known. The close relationship between banana exporters and repressive and corrupt leaders ultimately undermined development in the region, exacerbating inequality and leaving Central American countries weak and ungoverned. Political rhetoric in the use of the term banana republic. When politicians use this term, they are often trying to conjure up images of corruption, oppression, and failure to stop executive overreach. They equate government officials with autocrats backed by foreign interests who acted with impunity to rule by force and oppress their opponents. A number of U.S. Republican politicians have invoked the term in response to the FBI raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence last week. However, the use of the term to describe the enforcement of a judicial order is not appropriate. Holding elected officials accountable for their actions and not allowing anyone to be above the law is in fact a feature of a healthy democracy. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to receive all the upcoming videos.